Hi everybody and welcome back to another Tommy and Fatal shoutcast. Once again, it's Tommy and Fatal. Ah, you guessed it. What's up, Fatal? Uh, what's up, Tommy? Nothing much, nothing much. I think I'm coming down with a cold, but I'm still gonna cast this chisel. Because we're just that hardcore for you. Yeah, I'm so hardcore. Ugh, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got a game between uh, Say No to Stim and some Smurf, who is going by the name of HQ Storm, or at least I'm pretty sure I'm a Smurf, he's not on the leaderboard. So, uh, yeah, apparently there's lots of explosions and shit dying and shit and fucking bollocks and cunt everywhere, so let's... And obviously uh, it's a vanilla match-off. Of US course. US versus Wehrmacht, because, because they're leaky bastards. Of course, we wouldn't cast anything else. Um, <laughs> so, it's at the five second mark, and we'll be unpausing in three, two, one, unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, no. Yeah, so, and we got the first pirate for HU Storm not building, just going for a cat somewhere. Fair enough. Uh, it's always interesting to see what people do on this map, because uh, as as uh, Vermark, because there's lots of different things you could do, especially to do with like capping orders and stuff. And it seems to be we're going for like how many pies is he building? He's just uh, three. He's go gone triple pios, and he's going out to cap with his first two, and probably gonna go build with these guys, or maybe he's not gonna build at all. What the uh, forward HQ start maybe? Ooh, I don't know. forward HQ! I like this already. <laughs> forward HQ with a church or something? I don't know. That's I've seen the church. Thing. I've also seen it in that building. And because he's capped that point first, it's going to be in that building. Yeah, it's going to be in that building. Okay, so HQ start uh, or forward HQ start uh, already. It's getting interesting, honestly. Yeah, I mean that's something you don't see every day because I mean the 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 counters are maybe not easy to execute, but they are straightforward. You know, it, it's sort of generally you get bars, flames big push and you can generally yeah. push them off because you have more firepower but if that big push fails because of mines for the fatherland whatever then you are a little bit fucked against someone who's got a lot of volks because yeah, you'll then find I your cutoff being moved on aggressively and your rifles will just become shit yeah, and since they have that forward reinforcement point from the forward HQ as well you know it's it gets really hard sometimes to actually you know completely flush the Wehrmacht forces out of the, you know, wherever he entrenches himself in whatever building he chooses to build his forward HQ in. Yeah, it can be very difficult to crack, especially, I mean, it, you're really in a bit in dire straits if he also, if he gets sort of four or five volts and then a med bunker, that's uh, really, uh, that's <laughs> horrible. I've, I've played games with forward HQ strats. I don't do it against high level players, because they can generally counter it, but against low level players, like, you can, you can end the game with, like, sort of... Yeah, your initial five squads of Volks plus sort of like a ridiculous number of Grens, zombie Grens, like four or five squads or something. Yeah, when you do some, you know, if you do four or five Volks or whatever in the beginning and you start churning out, you know, with the first munitions you basically gain from whatever point you cap and you just spend that on a med bunker and actually not have it destroyed by off mat already or, you know, demos or something. Uh, if you start churning out Grens from that, bunker it's just gonna be complete annihilation because it's just free squad free squad free squad and you exactly just, you know, and with forward hq infantry vet else. does tend to come as well so we've actually yeah, seen exactly. say no to stim actually totally ignore the plus 10 right next to his base which is something you do see occasionally from american players because obviously being an american you don't need the uh, munitions as much you need fuel but he did instead opt to go and cap the plus 16 munitions so i don't really know what he's trying to go for, whether he's trying to prioritize fuel or munitions or what. I'm actually not sure either. He's capped the uh, two munitions and that's 16 plus that he just said. But uh, we, if, we, if we look at the Wehrmacht player, he's basically done exactly the same. He didn't go for the 10 munitions, he went for the 16 as well. Yeah, I see a lot of people ignore that plus 10 because it is kind of out the way. But I've heard some schools of thought saying that it is always better to go for it because if you leave it till late in the game, you'll be you'll be down on firepower in the front line if you don't go for it. Yeah, so Steam is actually Steam actually had a little bit of a miss micro here. He didn't get in that building. He's going to take a lot of damage now because he's got two yeah, volts. I think he actually pinning him out. he was in the building. Uh, he was the in the building. Yeah, him from the green cover, and he opted to go out, and now he lost that building. Yep, well, I think he was waiting for the Volks to come closer so that he could then jump in, but I think he just mistimed it a little bit. I think he was focusing on uh, up the top. Uh, yeah, he's moving his NGs in south there, where he's uh, Pyo versus NG battle going on for a little bit. He went around the barbed wire, actually, over the, the riverbed, the dried out part there. He missed yeah. that going to lose this engagement, I'm surprised. It looked really good, and then all of a sudden his NG well, there... Well, it's, it's those garrison and Volks, and he's, he's fighting it from a bad side as well. He's fighting against, like, sort of four or five windows. 
of garrison cover. He actually chose, I suppose, with three rifles he can actually afford to push them off, but now there's a third Volk entering the equation, so I don't know. It's a close thing. Is he going to build sandbags? We might see some sandbags here. I think he's going to use his bush for the yellow cover. <laughs> All Volks, get in the bush. Yes. He's actually yeah. not going to win that engagement if he sticks around, though, because uh, he is fighting against multiple windows from that rifle squad. And now he's yeah, getting moved on aggressively. The Vermont player should just retreat at this point or soft backpedal it out of there because he's yeah, not exactly. going to win that engagement. At the same time, we got some Pios Ooh. getting killed by engineers in the north. Yeah, I saw that. That's a little bit of a setback for yeah, the little. American player. But on the other hand, um, uh, Stim also lost an engineer squad, so um, they're both down a builder unit at the moment. Oh, he did, so he did lose that on a retreat, actually. That is most unfortunate. I see, the Vermont player I see. doing a nice little bit of micro, he actually managed to position himself behind that green cover into the VP point, and that meant that those rifles couldn't really charge him without taking a lot of losses. So that actually turned out quite okay for him. And now he's gonna um, he's gonna lay some mines and take back the VP and put on some early VP pressure. Because he's already got stimmed down to 450. 458. Oh, oh right, yeah, that's ticking really Oh, early nade goes down oh, on the eight. bulk squad. And totally just takes a whole chunk of health off of them. Ah, uh, and he loses one guy on retreat as well, just down to two guys. We that was very nasty. Very, very nasty. Uh, these rifles, these rifles, if they try and... Ah, uh, they throw a nade as well, but... Oh, that was a horrible mine. Loses loads Jeez. of guys and a shit ton of health. I didn't even notice that mine. I saw the one on the... If you see uh, a bit more south at the dried out part of the riverbed, he placed a mine there before. I saw that one. Ooh, another nade goes down. Ooh, uh, he retreats. Only retreat. killed one guy, but... I don't know who's... Are they, he's he's going to stick around there. Ah, oh, he might lose a Volkswagen uh -oh. here. Yeah, he's gonna he got quite lucky with the spacing of his Volks there. <laughs> he had yeah, one, one, one Volk really far to, away. <laughs> yeah. He decided to go on the other side of the river better because it felt like a fun thing to do or something. I don't know what the heck he was doing. I guess so. So we actually have a triage coming down now from Stim, which is always a nice thing against um, uh, an FHQ start because obviously when you're fighting uh, Volkspam, especially now they've got a Striper Veteran so he knows he's going to be Volkspam for quite a while with a med bunker probably, uh, it's always a good idea to get a triage because Volks, they don't necessarily get the kill crits loads, but they do take off a lot of health, um, uh, which is something that you don't... Yeah, I mean, it's something you you uh, you don't see so often a fast triage against uh, just a normal Vermont start because you're fighting snipers or whatever, but because um, yeah, they're just straight yeah. bleeding. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, fast triage is really going to help extend the life of his rifles, given that they are all very very low health. So, how many rifles he got now? Is he taking bars? Or? He's taking bars, yeah. Um, which is that means he's putting in quite a lot of fuel into the anti-infantry. Um, but obviously, now that he's seen, he's seen that his opponent's gone for a camp across center and, and veteran C stripe one. So he's got a little window where his bars and nades and triage are really going to pay dividends. Oh yeah, he did go grenades first and bars. So yeah, it's going to take a while yeah. for him to take up to supply depot and get tier three or tier four. And at the same time, we got HQ Storm actually taking to tier three at the moment. So it's already past tier two. So he's probably going to go straight for Pumas, maybe Nebel. Yeah, well. I mean that's the standard follow-up you see people like Crazy Tiger did. I mean, in the last game that we shoutcasted, uh, Crazy Tiger versus Seb. That was Volk spam into Puma spam, and yeah. that's the most effective way to roll it at the moment. And if he does, in fact, go for Pumas, and he has, the Vermont player has um, fuel dominance right now. Um, yeah, he's got uh, 21 income at the moment with 35 in the bank. And tier 3 is just about tech. There we go. It's ticked up to tier 3. See if he's going to put down the building soon. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be really nasty for Stim if he pops bars. Yeah, he's, he's already popped bars now, so he really needs to do the damage now. Otherwise, he's going to have be in for a lot of pain. Yeah, he basically has no way out of this now because he already invested all his fuel in the bars. So yeah, exactly. I mean, if I, was the, if I was the Volk player right now, I'd be laughing my ass off now. I've seen bars <laughs> and I've taken the tier 3. I'd just be like, yes. And now all I have to do is spam Pumas. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a, quite a while. You know, he can get stickies, but they're just not reliable enough. Yeah. But the uh, large attack from uh, Steamtastic here. Uh, he's going with three bar rifle... Uh, Pushing for the forward HQ and one squad going for cutoffs or just a north attack. Yeah, oh, it's there's a, a nice nade, but nicely dodged as well. More volts just popping out. Oh god. This is Five this volts. is potentially going to be quite nasty for Stim. I'm not sure he has the firepower to deal with it. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, that that one bar squad gets uh, gets run off the field. He's charging another one down negative cover. Oh, he loses oh, two guys god. really fast. Throws another nade. That could potentially be nasty. Oh, he loses two guys. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, but that was 
Yeah, I mean, like I was saying before, if that big flank fails when you've got bars and nades and triage, you are he's he's in for a world of hurt now if he doesn't get some AT very, very quick. Because uh, we can see those pyros are moving out. I think they're probably going to start building tier 3 yeah, any time soon. Up here. <laughs> Looks like Stim was actually at the point of uh, giving up here. And certainly, I mean, you know, if you if you do lose that big flank, and he even lost a rifle. He lost a rifle. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, shit. He, yeah, he did rebuild one of his engineers. Um... So he still has two engineers, and he's building now a weapon support center. Oh no! Oh no! 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 MGs with AP rounds? <laughs> I don't know. You know. He's he hasn't even laid any mines. Like there's no mines on the road. He hasn't. He's not even sitting on very much munitions because he's been spamming so many nades. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I, if I was him, I would have stuck with the nades. From, we got a cut off attempt from Wehrmacht here too. It's just bunkering down with sandbags. Yeah. <laughs> cut off now, and he's just laughing honestly. Yeah, like he's he's gonna as soon as he sees the the first WSC unit, it, he is Puma's just gonna be able to roll, roll over, and we can see tier three is coming up now. That's yeah, gonna be done in another though. thirty seconds, and then Puma's gonna be out in about two minutes time, and yeah. there's not a single mine or even stickies or anything. We so got mines going down in the north from uh, HQ Storm player, on the road, yeah. and more sandbags, more mines, and more he's mines. just swimming in the income here. He's got 48 income for munitions and 21 for the fuel. He's just like laughing now, seriously. That's pretty insane. He yeah. actually, he might kill this pyro here. Ooh, he might Did the pyro retreat. finish building that mine? Nope, not oh, north one. That, that was a one. nasty mine. He was actually very lucky. He only lost one man there. Oh, yeah. That was that very, was very fortunate. But, and uh, uh, Volks moving over to reinforce against his bar assault. Two Volks versus two rifles with bars. Uh, probably not gonna now there's a there. lot of Volks into the but equation now. That's another thing. Yeah. I um. NGC in the south trying to move over here and decap maybe the VP. I'm not sure what he's gonna go for. Yeah, I mean he's probably Did gonna go stop? straight for the fuel. It wouldn't surprise me if he goes straight for the fuel because he's probably anticipating. I don't know what he's anticipating actually. He's seen bars and nades, and tr and he must have realised there's a triage out there. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we we have a sniper just popped out from Stim. So I mean, if that had come out, sort of, you know, instead of bars, there would have been, you know, that that could have laid down the hurt in quite a big way. But I mean, what's the status on the Puma? Puma is seventy percent done, approximately. So another 10, 15 seconds. I'm not sure if I would often go for a sniper with only Volks. You know, Volks are pretty low priority target to kill the snipers. If he had started churning out Grens now from uh, a medic bunker, which never actually Oh went my out. god! Oh, brilliant grenade. That was great. I didn't even see him throw the grenade. I think the trees got in the way. Yeah, the trees or the flames or something obstructed. Yeah, something, here. yeah. But the first Puma is uh, on the field, and he's basically just moving straight out. He's just going to stop these rifles in their tracks. Oh, There's yeah. There's nothing in the room. Nothing, nothing at, at all. all. Nothing at all. At all. You can't, I mean, you can kill a Puma with bars. It just takes a very fucking long time. So uh, it looks yeah, like he's just going to try and stall in green cover and buildings and stuff for as long as possible. But I don't know how long that's really going to last him. He is now building his supply yard, and he's got 50 fuel in the bank. So he's got enough to, uh, he's got enough fuel technically. To build his um, motor pool and get an AT gun, but I don't know if that's going to come out fast enough. You know, there's going to be two Pumas before he has uh, yeah, an AT gun. Pumas in 10 seconds, there's another Puma on the field again. So yeah, two Pumas versus one AT gun. Pumas win again. I'm not sure how he's going to. You know, this is. What do you say? This is. He's in a pickle. <laughs> Honestly, <Yeah. laughs> I'm that's not sure putting it lightly. I mean, you can't stall in green cover forever, certainly, and he's. The, the, the Puma anything, player was actually so. being quite smart there, being uh, making sure he was always moving to the opposite side of the directional cover. Yeah. Uh, you know, at the same time, he's stalling in green cover, but he's not actually making any progress because he can't cap anything when he's just stalling. Yeah, exactly. So it's and he still stalling. has, I mean, he's he's losing a lot of the map now. He's sitting on very little of, uh, yeah. of the actual map. Now, I think this is deliberate. Uh, he's actually put his Puma inside vehicle cover there by the road. Is very, very nice. nice. And now Stim makes his sniper known. As you say, against Volks, not so great. And there's the second Puma. Yep, second Puma in your field. He came from the south. The off oh the no, this sniper's in a really, south. really bad situation now. Thank God for Gravestones, that's all I'm saying. He tried to go for a nade there, forced to retreat. He might even lose a rifle on the retreat here, but he's not being focus fired, which is fortunate. Yep, no focus fire. I think those Pumas might even be afraid of stickies, I'm not sure. Or he's just... Yeah, you know, I don't know. 
I guess he's afraid of stickies, probably. Maybe. He doesn't have great means to repair it because he's only got that half dead pyro squad, which is uh, currently in his base. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the Venom player actually lost a pyro, which was a small victory for Stim. Uh, but, I mean, overall, he's he's still looking in a very bad situation with that massive bulk blob roaming around. Um, and he can, now that he's got his two Pumus, he can probably just start spamming Nebels and then get Infantry Veterancy 2, get a Med Bunker, and he'll be sitting pretty. We actually have an M8 coming out now, which will be a little okay. bit belated. How many munitions is uh, the Venom player sitting on at the moment? At Rock Dead, he's basically floating 300 munitions, and he has the uh, DPs as far as I'm aware, so he's just laughing now. But seriously, I think he's, uh, I'm not sure what he's, where he's going with this officer that just popped out of his tier 3. I guess he wants to pump out even more Pumas or Nebels like super fast. Yeah, it that's it's it's a pretty smart idea actually. If you're in in if you're in a really dominant position and you have the manpower yeah. for it, you can really speed up speed up production. I'm not sure if it doubles production or what, but so now Stim's M8 is out. I'm I mean when when he's uh, when the Vault player has so many munitions, I don't know whether like he's not going to be stopped by a wall of Fausts. Yeah. Well, or he can just upgun a Puma and instantly hard counter it. Yeah, pretty much. And the gunner dies. In gunner dies, I love that. Love that. Oh, uh, Alpha, Faust. Is he going to try and block it? I don't know, it looked like he might have tried to block it there. He tried to, actually. He's going to... Wow, Ooh, that's a... Puma small earth fire. Or the M8 might get a finishing shot here. There we go. go in, and there goes the Puma. He does look... Whoa, victory. that oh sniper is... Ballsy as hell. Very bolts. Oh, obviously. nice nade in the middle. Forces the Volks to retreat, and there's Vet 2 nice. for the infantry. Forces all the Volks to retreat. Almost got a kill on the Volks squad. He's down to one man and, like, play, uh, basically no health at all. It's like one pixel of health. So that was, a, that was a small victory for Stim, at least. I mean, he killed a lot of Volks there. I mean, that's the that's the real weakness of Volks spam is that you're losing so many guys that rifles just vet up like there's no tomorrow. But if we take a look at the VPs now, we can see that uh, this is becoming something of an issue with only 279 for the American player. Yeah, he really needs to go, you know, harass the North just for the VP's sake, or, you know, he really has to do some amazing comeback. Amazing push, yeah, into the middle. He's beginning something to mine up the middle as well, the Yvonne player. I, I'd like to see a few more mines to consolidate his position, but Steam is being incredibly ballsy with the sniper. Oh, yeah. Like, that, that Puma could have just charged straight for it, but he chose not to, I guess, because he thought he'd be too far away from his wall of Fausts. Probably. Uh, we got the first Neville popping out from the tier 3 of uh, Vermark's base as well, and uh, I'm not sure if he's building something else. Now, he's not, he doesn't have that, you know, a lot of manpower, since his bolts keeps dying quite often, actually. Uh, and he has to reinforce them over and over again. Uh, we yeah. got him harassing in the center as well. Is that uh, getting turned into a med bunker there med in the middle? Bunker. Yeah, first med bunker yeah. on the field. You know, that's a little bit late, I'd say. It is a bit late. Yeah, I mean, when you see fast grenades, I would have gone. I would have skipped going for an extra volk and just get a med bunker because with fast nades, it creates so many casualties that yeah, it's it's insane. I've seen games that have literally been won, especially in like Magpies um, games, where he's won it because a, a nade has uh, has gone off just as his med bunkers pop out. And, oh, these uh, are in trouble. Neville going down all over the place. Instantly retreats, so he doesn't lose Very any nice. manpower. Vet one for his sniper there. Ah, great. So he's up to eight bolt kills, I guess. What uh, is rifle shooting at? Oh, he's shooting the sandbags, right? Oh. I thought he was like shooting like into the sky or something. I was like, what? Yeah, I thought he was shooting at the Puma wreck, wreck or something. I was like, what is he shooting at? And why? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's so. Stim beginning to capture back his territory, which is nice. He still hasn't remade that rifle, but it does have a Vet 2 rifle. And there's that Volk Blob. Five Volks. And oh no, the M8, the second M8 got destroyed engine. Hit that mine on that classic oh, on spot, road. classic Semois spot. He actually hit the mine before with his uh, flame ranges and rifles, and he just replaced it again. But the uh, nice harassing from the rifles in the north, he really, really needs that territory. Yeah, he really needs it. Like, he, he needs to be at least on sort of equal terms. But I think he's going to see the entire Vermont force just roll up there and, uh, and force him off, I would imagine. You know, I'm beginning to like more and more to think about it, uh, having a sniper as a counter to the Ford HQ, because I think the main thing is that you don't expect a counter snipe. Because if he goes for a counter snipe, it means that he has to delay his teching massively. Yeah, of course, that's true. You know, he can't get a sniper 
So that means all you have to do is just have semi-decent micro, because all you gotta do is just move away from the Volk Lord when it rolls up, and Volks won't kill a sniper on retreat, very rarely anyway. Yeah, you know, if you retreat through five squads, sure, but not if you retreat through a half-dead squad or something. Yeah, oh, nice nade by Steam. He actually hid himself in the big, thick bushes there, so that, uh... So that, uh, he couldn't see the nade being thrown, but... You can't Vermont see player... the animation, yeah. Yeah, Vermont player's on the ball, though. He might be Volk spamming, but he's on the ball. He's actually gonna lose this battle now with the rifles, even with the M8 at the uh, the rear there. Oh, going for another nade. Oh, no, nice, nice dodge. dodge as well. He's he's only he, I mean, considering the amount of nades that have been thrown, he's I don't think he's uh, he's lost too many guys from it. And now we see a mortar out from Stim, so he's beginning to consolidate his position with WSC units. Personally, I would like to see a bit more AT from him if he was just to be on the safe side. But yeah, but at the same time, he hasn't really seen you. you no, know, he's got two M8s out, and uh, all he's seen is a few Pumas. Uh, he doesn't that's know true, that's true. about the teching. He, they, you know, he's regaining his territory. The massive fuel income from Wehrmacht has drastically uh, gone down at the moment. So, you know, maybe these M8s are going to be good enough. I thought actually he's going to build an MG bunker, the second bunker, because to cover the south entrance there. But he actually went for another medic Dual bunker. medic bunkers. Dual medic <laughs> bunker, that's and what the border is do. just going to go to town. That is not a defensive med bunker by the amount of damage it's taking. Uh, do we no, have a doctrine pick yet? Yeah, terror. Okay. So I guess he's doing Volk, 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 Puma, 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 KT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new strat. Oh, we got an upgun Puma here now. He's tired of all uh, these M8s. Yeah, he's tired, he's tired of the M8s. It's like, yeah, I've toyed with you for long enough. <laughs> yeah, screw this shit. You're dying now. Uh, you die now. Finally, Stim is getting the middle VP back. He's down to 200 VPs. Yeah, he, he really needs that. He needs to also keep hold of it. Cause, uh, and also repair his... Uh, well, this is for the Vermont player, but he needs to repair those bunkers. Because it's only giving it a few more hits until that mortar takes him out. Yeah, I don't think it takes many hits for that the northern. Yeah, they they do double damage against bunkers. So. Yeah. The northern bunker would have gone down to like two or three hits at most. Yeah, definitely. Here comes the M8 yeah, screaming nice. along the road. Yeah, Here comes the two Fausts. Boom. Ah, second one. And a new Puma is on the field. So he's got two Pumas again, one upgun, one unupgunned, and we got the mortar raining down on the bunker still. He's running out, running out of the way. Oh uh, no, he, sniper! He oh everything. my god, he's that sniper is pretty close to dying. Oh nice, he's actually tech stickies. Surprise stickies. Nothing, Very nice. nothing better than a surprise sticky if you're gonna throw a sticky. Sniper's still raining hell. He's got. Uh, it took him 16 kills, but he finally got his vet too. Yeah, 16 kills, almost basically all volks. I think it killed a pyo guy or two, but yeah, pretty much. He's actually floating. Almost. He's actually floating over 900 manpower and 100 fuel. Popcat? No, he can't be popcat now. No, he's a 38 out of 62. So I don't know what he's building. Uh, he is building nothing. And oh, he has yep. no supply out upgrade or anything, so I don't know whether this is Miss Micro on this part or what, but... Oh he my does God. have two CPs though, and he's going down the Calliope route, so in another three quarters of a CP, he will have a Cali. Nice. Uh, we got a, the second Puma, the one that did not die, is upgunning as well. So, since he has no solid counter for this M8... Uh, he's, uh, oh, oh he's wow. mine, but no damage ending, that's gonna save his life. That was probably. lucky. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're dead. Hey, what a lucky air, mate. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, you did. And he starts to take the cutoff now as well. That's so he's shown his opponent that he's got armor, which is yep. you know you never want to show your opponent too early what kind of doctrine you're going because it makes it easier for him to counter. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a back tech to Pax. That would yeah, not I'm be too surprising. Well, because he's got no solid AT or you know stug spam maybe. Yeah, maybe stug spam. I think Since someone mentioned no in the AT comments guns. that he's actually got uh, Geschütz wagons. And you don't see them really this often in uh, in this patch because of their um, their nerf to damage. I mean, they still do retardo damage, but it's just not as retardo as it was last patch. Yeah, I and think their their lack of penetration is much more pronounced now because they yeah, they really can't penetrate for shit. It's lack of penetration and uh, the n the amount of damage done when the shells are deflected. It has oh been. yeah, the deflection modifier used to be really dumb. It used to be like 0 0.75 or something. So. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, did you see the engineer guy fly away? <laughs> that was oh no, I didn't see it. There was a corpse of an engineer on top of his own place mine and a Neville detonated it and the guy went flying all over my screen. 
No, that Morden needs to retreat. Oh my god, he's very close to dying, but just managed to get out of there. That's, I mean, that's really gonna put the wind up stim if uh, those nebbles keep firing, especially if he gets, starts to get vet on them. And the stim is now floating 1400 manpower. I mean, you would have thought that he'd get a supply art upgrade at least, or another sniper, or three, or five. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you can get a lot of stuff uh, nearing sort of five, 1500 manpower. Yeah, he can't be, you know, uh, pop cap, and he must have enough fuel to like keep building uh, base buildings or whatever, or I just guess, you know yeah. some OPs or something. I, the only feasible thing I can think of is that he's saving up to get double calliopes when he eventually hits his third CP, and he will get that third CP if he manages to kill something in this firefight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got one Pyro guy at least. Uh, M8 is moving in again to grief some uh, bolts. Upgun Puma is going to be a headache for him though, unless he gets an AT gun of his own. He's finally started to kill the medics, but do we actually have any free Grens out? No, no free Grens, although he's nope. only one casualty he's away. Bunker. And he's building another bunker, wow, he's... He really likes the uh, the old medic bunker, doesn't he? Yep, I'm not sure. There's no upgrade shows and yet Neville running oh, around. Oh no, right rifles, retreat. yeah, forced instant retreat. Uh, I hate Nebbles. Ah, another Nebble firing. That's the thing about having two Nebbles. Like, the first Nebble shows you where the units are, the second Nebble lays on the hurt. Yeah, exactly. Uh, first Zombie Grand Squad just hits the field, and that makes the complete army of uh, HQ of an officer, a Grand Squad, three pi four Pyos. Jesus Christ, he's been spamming Pyos now. Five volts, two Nebbles, and two Pumas, one up here. So his army is basically massive. He's, he's at 52 out of 65 pop cap at the moment. That's pretty insane. So now Stim gets his uh, final unlocks to Calliope. He buys one for 650 manpower, still leaving him with over a thousand manpower in the bank. Sure, Although bringing his, well, it, it, it brings his. Well, the thing is, his manpower rate is 234. I mean, although he doesn't, strictly speaking, need the manpower, he can certainly do with the rifle vet, and I'm amazed we haven't seen a Spire upgrade yet. It just seems incredible that we have not seen one yet. Oh, No, it kills a Pyre squad, and oh. forces instant retreat from the folks, and kills another couple on retreat. I am 99% am sure he's going to buy another Calliope as soon as the recharge goes down. And I guess that's how he plans to make his comeback, with double calliopes. I mean, I've heard of worse ideas, but I've never actually seen this kind of tactic used. No, me neither. Especially not floating that much manpower. I, I think he's just basically preoccupied with, you know, worrying about the VPs. I really need to do something about these VPs already. You know, I need something that's true. to be 145, that's not good. Yeah. It's when you get to less than 100 that you really begin to worry. Nice uh, nade, but again, nice, nice nade dodge. dodge. Some very nice... Uh, Nate dodging seriously there it's like yeah he's he's not he's, I mean he's uh, he's lost guys to nades but not due to a lack of dodging more just due to the fact that like he had so many guys blobbed up yeah and we got the first trick on the first uh, zombie grand squad and basically these medics are gonna go to town when these bolts start dying and vet 2 as well I didn't notice that getting popped did he only just pop that recently yep I guess that was because he got his first grand out so he I guess he figured yep. that Makes sense to get himself elite armor. He actually got Vet 1 on the uh, armor car, M8, with now 6 infantry kills, but uh, he needs VPs, as you Puma. said. Did he get the I finishing shot in the upgun Puma? I, I think so. Yeah, it got shot by the M8 a couple of times, he got stickied once, and then it was down to destroyed engine, so uh, I think he got Fair the enough. finishing shot. Yeah, he's got a light uh, vehicle kill on the M8, so yeah. yeah. Our sniper still alive with 21 infantry kills. Rain and hell. Oh, Calliope fire coming in. Taking Calliope on the field at the moment. Coming out of the bunkers this time. Uh, yep. There was no infantry to kill, but he might kill a bunker. No. Nope. Whoa, <laughs> there's the second Calliope barrage uh, coming in uh, in the same place. Destroyed some mines, destroyed a bunker. He destroyed a bunker. He might even kill the one behind the church. Nah, we didn't get enough splash damage. Uh, this medic guy, which is carrying a corpse just north of the VP, which is getting capped at the moment by uh, by Stim, is gonna equal the second zombie grand squad. Oh dear. That's not good. Uh oh, super Faust. Oh my god. Oh, that was like four Fausts or something. That's insane. Oh, that like, sniper is he didn't involved. even need that many Fausts. Yeah. That's just like, I'm Fausting you because I can. <laughs> Because I had like 280 manpower, uh, munitions left over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I can. So, so Stim's getting down to 100, and, yeah, 120 VPs, and that middle one's getting capped. His army is still 
quite small. Um, he still only has three rifles, his sniper being the main infantry killer. Um, and still no supply art upgrade. Uh, why are you no yeah, supply art upgrade? Full with the first AT gun at least. It's not moving forward with it, but it's got an AT gun at least. I imagine he's trying to protect it from a massive like Zerg rush from Stokes to kill his Calliopes. I imagine that's what he's doing by leaving it back in such a defensive position. Plus, I mean, the thing is, if he just moved up, it would just get totally owned by Nebels. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that's true, that's true. At the moment, I don't think uh, HQ is even aware of that he has you know, an AT gun on the field at all. Yeah, I, w I would be surprised if he knew. Uh, here comes another Calliope Raj coming in in the middle. It forces an instant retreat again. If he keeps on retreating uh, as soon as uh, Calliope's fire, he's going to be able to keep on recapping that BP. Yeah, and just keep him in the game for a little while longer, you know. <laughs> a nice little nade through the hedge, but uh, his opponent nice once again on the ball. Oh no, self mortaring, oh, that's not good. That's always painful. We got another M8 out from the motor pool from Stim. And he's really we spamming got, him, isn't he? Uh -huh. We got he that actually... back to Vermont quarters, actually. I guess he's tired of this sniper now. <laughs> I guess he must be, yeah. So KT that's unlocked. gonna be... A... Oh, really? Wow, that's that's quite fast, actually. 30 minutes in to already have the KT. And he's actually capping with a sniper. That's how desperate he is. Oh, my Prop God. Propor used. True. The Vermont sniper shows himself for the first time. And Stim needs to stop capping with his own sniper because he's gonna die otherwise. Made. No, he's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. Thought it was in trouble for a little bit, but it's gonna be good. And basically, yeah, I thought he was about to get Alpha Faust to do it now. He's just going for the BP on over and over and over again. You know. Yeah. Well, it makes no sense because yeah. Although a uh, nice little nade coming down. Is he gonna dodge it or is he gonna cap it? Ooh. Oh, he doesn't oh. dodge. He forced to retreat though. Squad lives. That's something. But another bit two rifle squad pop from that grenade. Very nice, yeah, it's really have nice. He's got very nice rifle squ uh, squad bit now. He's got one with 20 kills, uh, Vance of Vet 2-1, oh. and the one that's retreating, I don't know, I'll find out in just a sec. More Calliope fire coming in. And it might even kill the sniper. Oh, he forces the sniper to instantly retreat. The first rocket actually landed on him. But I think the yep. retreat bonuses just about kicked in long enough for him to stay alive. Oh, uh, this M8 is a little bit too ballsy with a Shrek in the face. Yeah, he was actually taking a fair bit of small arms fire as well there. Oh, nice little Calliope Barrage coming in. He might fail to finish off the Puma here. He's not moving the Puma. Oh, he kills the repair pyos. Oh, God. But the Puma lives. Wow. Lucky Puma. And the middle VP remains... Remains whited. Yeah. Oh, no, the Alpha Faust. Ah, the Alpha Faust. <laughs> Alpha Shreks, yeah. Alpha Shreks, Alpha Vows, yeah. Just so many of them. So now HQ is beginning to go up and cap the north. That's going to be a problem for Stim because it's going to distract him. It's going to force him to go up and deal with it by sending a fighting unit. Yeah, I think he's just not going to do it. I think he's gone, you know, VP blind. He needs the VPs, and I understand. Yeah. I would do, totally do the same thing, you know. Well, it's sort of working in his favor as well because his opponent's gone kind of VP blind as well. Because he's just, you know, he's losing he's losing a lot of manpower trying to cap that middle VP. Ah, uh, but with all these nebels around. What is that officer doing? I, I don't know. Officers are like veteran C pinatas more than any other unit in the game. You really don't want to lose him, especially not to a sniper. That would have made him instant bet three. Wow, well, nebels going down everywhere. I don't even know where the sniper went. He retreated it. Oh, no. here comes... Oh, my God. It's... Oh, Cali Barrage. It might even come down on the sniper here. Ah, oh, again! Ah, run, sniper, run! Oh, wow, he's oh. very, very he's like lucky there. He actually retreated, but he didn't need to, but... Yeah. The danger was over. More still going down, sniper still going to work with 26 infantry kills, and more Cali fire going down just behind the uh -huh. church! Oh, my God. Oh, that Retreat bonus is uh, just about saving him. Oh, yeah, wow. That thing is nearly going to go down. Yeah. I haven't even noticed, you know, I obviously noticed the shirt get totally demolished by Calliope Fire, but the forward HQ actually took so much of a beating that it's almost dead. It's it's sort of what, I guess that's sort of what Stim's been going for the whole time since he brought on his Calliopes, because uh, now he can't hide behind the church in the middle so effectively anymore. Yeah. Sniper must be so close to Vet 3 now, he's nearly got 30 infantry kills. Oh. It's all basically bolts though, so I don't know. Yeah, but... Uh, that rifle did not have a fun time. There's still one uh, med bunker remains though, and it's only one casualty away from getting another free grin. Yeah, he he was actually gonna get the, another zombie grin squad, but he sniped the medic. Ah, oh, okay. 
Well, all I can say is uh, the American player needs to do a lot of work if he's going to come back from this. Yeah, it still needs a lot of work, especially with the KT on the field now. KT had hit the field for about 15 oh seconds ago. And this is going to be a KT. massive defensive block in the center here. He's just going to cap the VP and just sit on it, basically. That's, yep. that's what I would have done. Yeah, that's exactly what I do whenever I get a KT on this map. But <laughs> more Cali fire coming down. Uh, that sniper again in trouble. He's just dodging everything. It's yeah, he's really, really lucky, isn't he? He, he must have just been like hiding in craters the whole time. Yeah, I don't know what... Oh, AT gun is, uh, has actually uh, moved up to the center there, protecting the VP. Oh no, Stim Sniper could might go might go down here. Oh, the cow snipe comes down. Oh dear, that's not good. Because that sniper, that that sniper was doing the main killing for Stim. Oh, sniper dies to climb. Oh fire. wow. <laughs> and a sticky gives the KT a damage engine, and a couple of nice uh, rear armor hits or, from or, the front armor. Yeah. Low what? <laughs> Rockets do fucking tremendous damage to tanks. Yeah. If you shotgun uh, a King Tiger with a Calliope, it's like almost dead. I think you could kill a Tiger one in one barrage if you basically it just sits there and you just shotgun it in the face. Really? Wow. I've it does tremendous amounts of damage. I've killed like stuff. retreating Tigers and stuff in OMG mode yeah. with uh, with Callies, but... But when I say shotgun, it's basically drive up to him and shoot him in the face. <laughs> yeah, and hope that he doesn't have the sense to drive towards you. Yeah, or, you know, to the sides or anything. Stim did actually send a unit up there to go and cap, and he managed to get the get the cap before being forced to retreat, so that's not bad. And we have a tank depot out with a Sherman coming out, with already the upgun purchased in anticipation of his Sherman, and presumably uh, an eventual pushing. Huh. I think he was expecting, you know, tier 4 tanks, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, well, he's seen the KT now, so, I mean, an unupgunned Sherman would have been useless. Yeah. Whereas the upgunned one... Oh no, KT actually turned his rear armor here. If he takes another Cali shot to the rear armor, he's gonna... He's gonna be in there for a while to hurt if he takes a lot of rear armor hits. Oh no, Sherman hits a mine in the same spot that he lost his M8. <laughs> another mine. Why not? I mean, he has 320 munitions in the bank. You would have thought he would have bought a minesweeper by now, but I guess he just didn't fancy it. More mortar fire going down on the final mortar bunker. I mean, med bunker. When I talk yep. about mortar bunker, I've been playing too much OMG. Uh, the Neville's gonna go down on the mortar, probably. Oh wow, the Neville actually went down! Oh my god, I think that Neville actually hit the M8 mine, which detonated and killed the M8 itself. Wow. That splash damage was... he wasn't even close to it, honestly. I was actually watching the Neville get killed by the Calliope. Ah, I was watching the M8 getting hit by uh, Neville's. So everything's died. dying, basically. Yeah, that's, more or less. That's what we can surmise from this situation. Uh, Neville's uh, gonna be the death of him eventually. Still no attempt to rebuild the sniper despite having over 650 manpower. I think uh, I think uh, the only reason that um, I think the only reason for complaint that Stim has right now is that he can't build more than two Calliopes because they're hard capped. I'm sure if he could, he would. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and he has enough to build himself another floating. Sherman. I'm really confused by his sort of massive floating of resources. Maybe this yeah. is all part of some overarching strat that a mere scrub like me wouldn't understand. <laughs> Might be. I don't understand it at least. Yeah. I am a scrub, so that's okay. Yeah. The uh, mortar took out the bunker there, so all med bunkers are finally gone, which is a quite significant victory for him. We got some nice uh, capping from some flamer NGs, but. At the same time, the Vermont player knows of it, and he's gonna grab him in the face. Oh yeah. And once again, moving yep. in on the north with his big blob of stuff. And he's also moving the officer with the blob, which is a little bit confusing. I guess he's... You can't supervise your units in Vico. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, that's a good reason to go try out OMG mod, because officers can supervise units and give them a 60% accuracy boost, which is as awesome as you probably are imagining right now. And yes, you can pop that on MGs. Or Oswins, or anything. Or Oswins, or Pumas, or armor cars, lol armor cars with supervision. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried out at least. Oh, you gotta you got go defensive next time. And you go P. And I'll go P, I'll spam armor cars. <laughs> Just because it's so much Just fun. because it's funny. Yeah, go play OMG Kids, because it's really fun. And also, check out my uh, my broadcast channel, it's um, slash uh, TommyCOH952 um, on Twitch TV. 
it's uh yeah i'm streaming lots of omg games at the moment and vico as well at a semi high level um so yeah go check it out if you are wondering what the hell we are talking about with supervision and shit it's omg mod omgmod.org so you should go check it out all right latent advertisement over back to the game we got some <laughs> rifles getting torn up and his puma he's gonna go down oh he's retreated oh. he did he did he let him no he actually he didn't he didn't. He managed to not hit a mine on retreat, which is pretty damn lucky if you ask me. Huh? I, I don't even know how he managed to not hit it. Cap it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the? I didn't even notice. It must have been mine. like AI, like knew the mine was there and dodged around it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure what HQ Storm is going for right now. I think he feels pretty confident with having 400 VPs compared to 100 of the American player, and he's actually uh, uh, bought more Shreks on his Gwen, so he's now have two double Shrek runs moving in with the uh, half dead Volk squad and the officer. He's probably gonna go for the Clypeys. I would imagine so. And if he's or, uh, if he's really uh -huh. gonna be funky, he might even go for a base rapier. Because I mean, when you have that many Shreks, you can take down a supply yard in one barrage. Yeah, and I think you can walk around the top MG nest if you just go right on the border. You can. Yeah, yeah. That's OP that's gonna a get great thing. OP. He's actually. He's not. He's actually going inside the MG's arc of fire, which is probably uh, not the smartest thing to do. He might get out of it. I'm not sure. He's yeah. Oh. He's trying to kill a tank depot. Ah, I see. I see. And there's an officer barrage, which is something you don't see every day. And a Calliope barrage comes in, forcing this to retreat. Officer barrage comes down on triage, I think. Well, he sort of. Oh, I think he put it down on the rifles that were charging him, but they obviously didn't stay still, and so that happened. Um, wow, we got uh, 22 kills on one Calliope and 12 kills on one light vehicle on the other. So we're looking in a pretty comfortable position for both players, I'd say. I mean, neither player can really, like, not counter what the other player has. It's just, like, there's just, there's just, they both players just have so much shit now by this point. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what this Puma is doing. I think it's going to try to kill the machine gun nests, I guess. He's probably going to go for it's another. It's going to take him a little while if he tries to kill the machine gun nest. But at the same time, now he's gonna now the Vermont player is gonna lose the middle because he's concentrating too much on you know doing something to win instead of just concentrating on regaining the middle VP and just be done with it. But I guess the Calliope is stopping him for doing that because of the constant barrages from two Calliopes. It's just like having two nebbles, but worse. Yeah, much worse. He's actually popping smoke in the middle, which is yeah, kind of funky. Nice. Just a shame he has, doesn't actually have any weapons that actually work in smoke effectively, like RRs or flames. But it's a nice idea. <laughs> Yeah, it was a good, you know, nice. To try and cap at least uh, makes it a little yeah. bit easier to cap if uh, if things can't hit you for shit. More Glabby fire coming down, but that's coming well wide of the mark. Actually, having said that, it's coming down near that Neville. Yeah, near where the Volks were actually going. I think he lost one guy or something like that. Yeah, he's not taking too much of a beating at the moment. And there's just, there's just so much infantry. And now we see a Geschutzwagen out from HU. Oh, the Neville goes oh. down! That was lucky. Yeah, I was very lucky. Run. But that's... So that means no one nebbles for HQ Storm, which uh, Stim will be laughing himself all the way to the bank about, um, because those things have been causing him more trouble than all the infantry combined. And now we have Vet1 Schutzwagen popping out, so that is going to do... go some way to counter in the Tank Depot from the American player. Because KT and Geschutzwagen and two lots of double shrek Grens will pretty much deal with any size of M10 horde. Any size of anything horde. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. Probably kill a horde of Perchings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does, I, I, I forgot what they changed the uh, the vet to on the Geschutzwagen. I can't remember. I Does it have the MG gunner? Maybe. No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, first shot from the Sherman misses. With so much that could happen there. We could have grape like 10 volts in one shot. Nothing. Uh, he just two killed guys. two guys, but yeah, he's gonna need to. Um, Sherman needs to work harder. <laughs> work yeah, harder, goddammit. The, the Vermark player is now gonna go for a full on base rape. Uh, that's basically what he's going for, and he's just like, I'm done with the middle. Uh, screw the Calliope's. Screw you. I'm gonna yeah, kill everyone. Yeah, exactly. Well, face. I mean, he has time for it. You know, he has plenty of time, he has plenty of resources, so. If he can go in, kill Supply Yard, kill Tank Depot, he can do a load of damage. Oh my god, Fausts, oh, oh. and... Was that just... That was literally just Fausts on the yep. Sherman there. Faust, two Fausts, uh, Oh no, oh no, 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 that's not good. Oh, bye-bye, Sherman. Goodbye, my 
brother. Try to go for something. Oh, he goes for Allied War Machine, so he's going to get that. Oh, he crushes two Grands on retreat. On uh, out of control, even. So it's not all bad. But uh, yeah, we have five CPs now as well for Stim. Uh, which, and he's now floating 1800 manpower. Still with not a. S oh, no, no, he's finally got one single supply upgrade, even though he's floating 200 fuel. Uh, but we're going to see a Pershing game pretty soon. Yep. And uh, here goes the attempt of destroying Stim's base. Well, he's taking out the main thing, which him. is the HQ. Uh, I mean, the. Um, not the HQ, the, uh, the fucking. Thank you. The. Uh, what's it called? The MG nest, that's it. Yep. He's gonna stay there to kill off Tank Depot. He really wants to kill it. There we go. There goes Night Munitions Investment. Oh my god, Curveball Shot kills a Grin. Oh, Calliope Barrage. Oh, Calliope Barrage oh. forces oh, oh. instant retreat from literally everything. Bar, bar one double track squad. And the KT. The KT is just like, hmm, do I go in and get sticky three times in a row and then circle to death by a single Sherman, or do I not? Uh, no, that was a bit of a miss, Micro. He's trying oh, to. Oh, oh yeah, nice, he's, he's a prop war. Nice prop war, yeah. He would have lost the game straight away if he hadn't prop warred there. He would have lost the KT and given him, given his opponent a vet three rifle, and then he would have been in a world of hurt. Yeah, all that's missing there is like a stolen Shrek on that squad as well, and then it's just like, God damn it. Yeah, it's <laughs> lultastically good. What the, f the fuck did you just see? How long that AT gun shot? That was. Yeah, I thought that. The fuck? That's not, not right. What the f Pershing reserves are now available. Unfortunately, um, Steam is actually popcapped. He's actually overpopped right now. Uh, 57 out of 52 because he, he lost that uh, that fuel. Yeah, he lost the fuel and he's also lost the munitions. In his, or maybe that was never capped. Oh dear. Now this is where the KT's micro is going to be called into question a little bit. Uh, not with the rifles coming in from behind as well. Oh uh, boy, he's going to get blocked now. The Sherman's going to block him. Yeah. Nice use of oh, prop nice war again, but he's not. He needs secondary AT. He needs a shoot wagon is moving up slowly and steadily. There it goes. Well, with, when it comes to rear armor shot, the shoot wagon still is kind of great. Yeah, and also the range on it is still mega silly. No oh. more Goliath if I come in. Uh, those Goliaths, they're going to be so annoying for the event player right now. It's like you spam nibbles. Yeah, well I spam Goliaths, and I won't know which one wins that battle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can he, kill you, you can't kill me. Yeah, exactly. He's slowly moving up with the AT gun creep, but uh, against the uh, KT, it's not going to be enough. He needs a horde of M10s or something equivalent. Yeah, or two AT guns at least with like AP rounds and, you know, block it or stick it with a damage engine. Anything. Oh, know, ju just, one, just one ATG if you're going to bring AT rounds into the question. I mean, AP rounds, so painful. Like, if I have a KT and I see AP rounds, I cry on the inside just a little bit. Like, I cry blood tears because those things are just so grapey. Yeah, the KT still has a large amount of health, but, you know, the armor is really what does the whole tank thing, you know, it's a defensive structure, it's just a massive piece of steel and it's like, I'm sitting here and this is my town, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally going to cap the middle VP, if I was the Vermont player, I think he could have played his earlier base rape a little bit better, if he had gone up with all of his force bar, like maybe one Grin squad just to cap the middle, he could have bled Stim down to 50 VPs or less by now. Yeah, easily. But I think, as you said before, he's getting a little bit of, uh, sort of winning game blind. Yeah, I think he's just trying to find, uh, you know, an easy out of this game. Oh, uh, this could be a really game. nasty collapse, brush. Oh, it's shotgun. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 don't oh he lost a grand. He didn't drop a Shrek, though, which was fucking lucky. That was very lucky. Uh, we got the Vet 3 Calliope. Vet yeah. 3 tanks. Ooh, Vet 3 Geschutzwagen versus Vet 3 Calliope. Yep. I forget what the Vet is on uh, Geschutzwagens because they, they're different to like Stugs and stuff. Uh, yeah. It's I'm like you get you get the MG for one of them, that's all I remember. Again, okay. nice use of prop war. How many munitions is the event player sitting on at the moment? Does he have enough to just prop war stem off the VPs for the rest of the game now or something? No, he doesn't really, but he's got a pretty hefty income of uh, plus uh, 54 or something. He has 43 now because he lost the uh, bottom VP. And he managed to dodge that mine again with that one guy, NG. What the hell? That mine is useless! That is really unfortunate. It's possible that he knows it's there and just Maybe. keeps queuing up orders to 
Right now, so he just avoid it. past once. You, know, you, you can't know where to retreat. You guys have to yeah. They just retreat wherever they fucking I think he's just gotten very fucking lucky. Uh, yeah. Shrek kills a guy. That's so many fucking volks. Where is the Calliope when you need him? Oh, there it is. Oh, here he comes. It's a little bit too late, though. There's a lot of mines, though. If he detonates a mine, he does detonate a mine. Kills a whole load of volks doing that. And he nearly. Oh, oh. oh my god, he really did a lot of damage there. Ah, nice nade as well. Nice nade, yeah, I just saw that. I think that's the first nade that hasn't been uh, hasn't been dodged yet. Or if he did dodge it, uh, Stim managed to out-micro the dodge. Because <laughs> yeah, you can sometimes uh, sort of throw it where you anticipate your opponent to dodge too. That's always one oh, nice little trick. Oh, got a little bit ballsy. On the KT, yeah, that's pretty ballsy, to be honest. He might kill the Schutzwagen, though. Oh, Schutzwagen got away with the skin of his teeth. Come on, Officer Barrage, the Calliope. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can. And again, oh, nice. He's a problem, but I, yeah, I don't know. He's he's getting kind of desperate, as he said. You know, he's just trying to do anything for the for the quick win. His patience yeah, is running thin. Lucky. Oh, nice use of uh, field repairs. Ah, oh, very nice. Although, he's where are the tanks? Oh, here comes maybe? here comes the Elgon Sherman against 50% health K uh, KT. He needs the AT gun support and the Kali support, but he might win if he circles correctly. And now Ally War Machine pop, but he's actually going to sacrifice his Vat 3 Calliope in the process. Yeah, I'm not sure that's worth it. No, that's definitely not worth it. I mean, not for the not for the vet you get on Calliope's. The vet you get on Calliope is pretty good if I remember. It's like increased uh, penetration, increased damage and stuff. So that goes. was not worth it, I don't think. I mean, it'll but be it worth it if he kills it. the KT. If he yeah. gets the KT kill, yeah, it might be worth it. No, oh, KT ah. takes it out. KT actually has surprisingly few kills. It just got that one tank kill and a measly one infantry before that. I think it basically hit the field and then it met an AT gun and didn't get any lucky shots and then it's been Calliope barraged off the field basically. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, he's just out of range of the ATG. He's going to charge a Puma at it now to see if he can uh, decrew it. Just as the AT gun picks up as well, that's really unlucky. That's gonna get decrewed in no yeah, time. Bad timing, bad timing. Oh, but the Puma is actually just gonna go. I don't know. He oversped himself. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Up the road, ah, uh, now it's gonna get decrewed. Hans, hit the brake! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> Look at this, uh, very nice. Uh, at the same time, we got some harassment on the north uh, VP, uh, at the same time as he's capping the middle one. So oh yeah. Gonna get oh my god, you should swag an MG, it's just, it's like an MG42. Yeah, especially with versus NG, it's just ridiculous. Oh, we need to run away! Oh, nice nade in the middle, but again, nicely dodged. We now have Vet 3 infantry as well, that's gonna help him against Calliope's and tanks in general. That KT is getting, it might die here. It, it might could die. Out. Oh, it's getting very lucky with the rockets, honestly. That's here comes Sherman lucky. now, if, if he just... That Sherman could just circle it to death now. He's got so low health. He'll get he'll get the required penetrations if uh, if he just goes up. He doesn't fancy it though. Interesting. Yes, I think I, I would have gone for it. You know, oh, nice nade down in the south. That one's not dodged and is gonna he's yep. gonna kill the Volk Squad. It gonna lose the Volk Squad. There he goes. He gets a two on another rifle squad for that. That's pretty good. He's got a lot of Vet 2 rifles now. They're all Vet 2. He's got a 25 kill, a 19 kill, and a 15 kill. Very nice. Oh, the 19 kill actually has a Puma kill as well, I think. Ah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I did see a Puma go down to it before. Pops Prop War again, but I think the Vermont player can begin to feel the game just slipping through his fingers a little bit. Very, very slowly, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very, very slow, but the Calliope's are having the desired effect. Same time, this Q Spagon is gonna get caught on the Sherman. Wow, that does a lot of damage when it actually penetrates. And Shrek's are useless. Oh Completely yeah, utterly useless. So we got a little bit of a repair party on the King Tiger in North, and at the same time, he's regained the top, uh, the Northern VP and the Central. Oh VP. no, full retreat forced again. Uh. You know, I th I'm beginning to think if the Vermont player just tried to sort of move out of the Calliope fire instead of retreating every time it fired then he might have yeah. been able to maintain a bit more field presence and actually keep hold of the VPs. It's a little bit risky though, you know. If it you it is a bit like risky, you know. but I mean, at the same time, that Calliope Barrage, if he had just moved and hit himself behind the hedge, he wouldn't have taken any damage. Oh, oh no, he's going to lose a rifle. Oh, he's desperate to get the decap. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, he's yeah. really lucky he didn't uh, lose the rifle as well. If he had lost the rifle and lost the decap, that would have been crushing. Well, you might think he shoots. Uh, no, no, I'm watching it. 
No, uh, he just needed one overshoot rocket, but he didn't get yeah, it. That's the second time the Gashutz Wagon's got away with the skin of his teeth. Really need some HP back. We got the center VP getting decapped again. This is just desperation from both teams, basically. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> HQ Storm is still in front with uh, only 60 VPs to go for the win. Yep. You know, this reminds me of a game I played against Lucky Stillert recently. We were, we were, he had uh, seven VPs, and I was ticking down to about three. And uh, we were desperately fighting over this middle VP, pushing each other off with Pumas and M10s and stuff. It was very funny. God. Ooh, AT gun opening up on a Puma. Is that a misfire? I think it was, I think a, misfire. It was a misfire, yep. Yeah. Two misfires. Firing all over the place, I'm not sure. I think the Puma is out of range. And he's trying misfires. to shoot me three, and then it changes priority all over. over I wanna over. see a nade, I wanna see a nade. No nades. Oh, Goliathy though. Again, much, instant much. retreat. You know, I mean, when you have Vet 3, I don't think you need to instantly retreat. I mean, retreat if you're taking a shit ton of losses, but otherwise... I mean, how much manpower is the uh, Vernal player sitting on? Uh, basically, he's not actually floating much. I think he's, you know... Oh, he oh that rifle was lucky. Stem's been really lucky with some of his rifles this game. Yeah, very lucky. Especially the one with the Neville Barrage. That was oh, crazy. yeah, that was, that was so fucking fluky as died. shit. I thought I'd just bring this up. Stem is now floating 3,800 manpower. Crap, Although he now just buys a Pershing, and uh, that takes him down to just 3,000. Oh yeah, he, he can't buy anything for at least 5 minutes now. Huh, the KT's back to full health. Yep, he's got a little bit of a repair part already, and it's done. Gishut's wagon is basically almost done. This up gun Sherman is in trouble now. Everything's in trouble basically, as if, yeah. There's only the one AT gun and one up gun Sherman, and a Pershing now. I don't know, Pershing versus KT, I don't count Oh, that. he hit the mine! Show him oh. misfired and hit the mine that was uh, the Neville was sitting on. That was Even very nice. Even if he did lose one of his double Shrek wins, he still got plenty of AT, honestly. Uh, oh, easily enough, yeah. I mean, the KT is really all the AT you need, plus maybe the Schutzwagen. Yeah, we got V1 unlocked as well, so, you know... Oh, 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 oh. I want to see a V1 before this game ends. Yeah, me too. I, I want to see the middle. That basically, I want to see the AT gun get graved by an E1 because that's basically what he needs to do. Without the AT gun, his King Tiger is going to roam everything, even with a Pershing on the field. Ooh, field repairs pop now. He is going for. Oh, Gashutz Wagon finally goes down. It stood up valiantly, but now it's. Uh, that Pershing also, bear in mind, the Pershing has HVAP rounds. The HVAP oh, yeah. gun, in fact. Everything is going down in this KT. Everything I know, but the Pershing actually took a lot of damage. Took a hell of a lot more damage than the KT did. Oh yeah. Oh, here comes. Oh, is this a uh, uh, firestorm? I think it's firestorm. firestorm. Yeah, firestorm. It's gonna be on the mortar and AT gun, obviously. Yeah, it's gonna decrew everything there. Oh, it does some oh, damage to the Sherman. Uh, to the Pershing. Oh, he kills the Pershing. What? With a Shrek? With a Shrek? Yeah, it must have been with a Shrek. It must have been a Shrek. But he's got so much manpower, he can just call another one straight back in. And as the other <laughs> last one had uh, no vet, there's nothing lost. Yep. Basically, he stole the middle VP from the cap, at least. So, you know, he did, he did his job, and he's getting the northern VP decap as well. He's gonna try and sticky here. Oh, yeah. nice, sticky, uh, bit of a miss, Michael. And now we have a sniper out from HQ Storm. So, that's actually probably not a bad idea, given he still has plenty of VPs left himself to actually try and sort of bleed his opponent out of manpower. Problem is, when you're trying to bleed an opponent out of manpower who is floating 2,000 manpower, it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while to drain out of 3,000 manpower or whatever. Yeah, especially when he's uh, under constant dual county fire. Yeah, it's pretty hard. 38 oh, infantry kills now in one of those. Sure, yeah, if prop war, the rifle squad is going to go for the VP cap, and at the same time, there's a push in the center from a Wehrmacht player, and he's going to go for the VP cap there as well, to continue to drain. Uh, the Faust went in on the Pershing, but bounced. <laughs> That's why you don't Faust a uh, heavy tank, mofo. Yeah, don't Faust the front armor at least. Yeah, exactly. Oh, come on, KT, stop Ooh. painting like a retard. That was painful. Kill the Sherman. Yeah, he could have gotten the Sherman there. But that was even more painful. <laughs> Yeah, that did a load of damage to the Pershing, honestly. Pershing, yeah. I mean, Pershing is such shitty health and armor compared to the KT. It's not even a fair contest. And with HVAP rounds, it seems to be going fairly well for him. With the Caliper Barrage on that, you have to finish it off. Maybe. Maybe dual canopy uh, Barrage? He's gonna need he's gonna need both of them firing, I think, if he's, if he's gonna be firing from such a range. I don't know who wins this. No, I, I think I think the KT wins that. To be honest, KT armor is just too fucking good. 
Yeah, but at the same time, you know, he was doing fairly well, I must say. He was doing okay, but I mean, if you look at the speed that uh, Pershing Health was going down versus the speed of the yeah. KTL was going down, it wasn't even a fair contest. I guess. I guess. Here we go, might be a finishing shot for the KT again. Uh, oh, no. Oh, get raped no, look at the sniper. sniper. Oh, God. The sniper gets killed. Oh, Second sniper, he's lost to Calliope Fire. He must be raging now. More Faust going in on the Pershing. That thing is really low health, but to be honest, I don't see the point in wasting Fausts and munitions trying to kill a Pershing when your opponent has 2,800 manpower. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that, but he must have thought it, given oh, that he hasn't God. seen that many rifles being killed, you know? That was some lucky frontal penetration from those tricks. And he's he's going to stay there. He's, he's going to stay there. Oh, it dies to the Calliope. Friend, friendly Mortar? I think that was the, the Mortar. I, I think I saw the it animation. It must have been the Mortar, actually. Mortar round. Yeah, Mortar got that too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh my God, that's funny as hell. And Steam is now actually popcapped. He can't bring in his, uh, his Pershing again. Ah oh, shit! Why not? Uh, he's he's pop capped. He's at 51 out of 62. He just lost more territory, I guess. Yeah, I think so. I think he lost territory, and he's been spamming engineers as well to go cap VP's ninja cap. Ah. Oh. He's got two engineers heading up to the uh, to the north to go and ninja cap that place. He's actually got a Puma though sitting up there, HQ Storm, guarding it. Ah, but KT sure. though is just limping away. I don't know how much longer he can stay in this game, which has now just hit the one hour mark. Oh wow. It's a long ass game. I get the decap on the top munitions with the officer. Let's see who wins. Ah, uh, he just retreats. I want to see the officer just luger everyone. Duh, yeah. Luger crits. They actually nerfed it in the patch, I think, in the beta patch. I think ah. it was viewed as a bug. But we all loved it, really, Relic. Yeah, Why don't you put it back in? You know, I actually went onto the COH forums and asked if they were going to release a hotfix to fix all the shit that they didn't fix before that they said they would, like ACs detecting stuff, and they just said no. Just a straight no. We're not going to fix the stuff that we broke. No! Fuck you! That was kind of, uh, disappointing. Discouraging. He's desperately trying to decrew this AT gun or something. Oh, fuck fire. Oh, God. Well, I guess the AT gun is the only really solid AT, you know, I mean, there's the Sherman, there's Stickies, but at the end of the day, the thing that's going to really whittle down the health is, uh, it's got to be the AT gun. Yeah, especially versus KT, you know. The you fuck? Really Stim has avoided this mine again in the south. Yeah. <laughs> that mine is useless, honestly. Sure, come on. What? You retreated. Yeah, uh, I give up. I give up, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. That's pretty dumb. We got some mines coming down from the engineers in the center. He's gonna protect this middle VP. Uh, that's not a bad idea. No, bad if idea I was a Burmak player, I'd just sneak in from behind and take the southern one just to distract him. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad plan. I mean, especially when you've only got 30 VPs, it must be infuriating for the uh, for the Vermont player. It really must. Yeah, but you know, at the same time, now the Vermont players gotta start worrying about the VPs too. He's, he's nearing 100 VPs only, so it's, a, it's gonna be 100 versus a 50. True that, true that. Uh, a little bit of a lull in the game here. I don't think either of the players really want to do something. Vermont player is basically just repairing all his stuff, and he's now putting down repair bunkers probably with his pyos, his, his only pyos. No, he's got two pyos, one in the south as well, decapping the munitions with the mine that never will detonate for the entirety of the game. <laughs> got the officer. Uh, we actually have mines being placed by Stim as well to protect the Southern VP. I guess he heard me or something from the past. How did that work? <laughs> oh my god, he's using hacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's got a time machine hack. That's the best kind of hack. Is, it, is that officer gonna hit the other mine? No, he's very close to it, though. He's just gonna stand there he's and die. Oh, he prob oh, the officer oh. goes down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that my god. Funny. That was that was hilarious. That was that was very funny. That was pretty funny. Um, but uh, Stim's now wiring off the middle with his one-man uh, engineer. It's taken a little while, but uh, he's wiring it off slowly. <laughs> Actually, you know, wire isn't a bad idea. He has no pyos. He does have one. Do oh, he does, he does have some pyros. Oh, he's, uh, he's got he's, two. He's got three, actually. He's got one on his south as well, and two repairing the KT and Puma. 
Ah, so he does. We got a rep bunker going up as well. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Look at him now. He's, he's setting up another mine down down near the south. But <laughs> he's just <laughs> like, all right, you know what? They are gonna hit that fucking mine one day. <laughs> Yeah, I think I actually always come from that side of the hedge as well, so yeah, this time it's probably gonna hit him. Yeah, this time goes. it's personal. <laughs> this time it's mine testicle. It's mine fuck. So VP is getting pretty low now, 54 versus 74, but I mean, the the ball's in the Van Aert player's court, as far as that kind of thing is concerned. Yeah, and he's basically popcapped at 5, 59 out of 62, and I, I guess Steam is pretty much pop cap as well. Yeah, he's at 70 out of 57. <laughs> oh my god. How did it even happen? Because oh. he has so many fucking tanks, and he, um, I don't know, it's because he, he lost quite a bit of territory, I think. He had the whole bottom bit and the whole top bit, and then he lost he lost a lot of it. Yeah. So, how much manpower is he floating now, anyway? Um, 2600. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, so I, he's I totally got, wiring I, off the middle there in the, in I got the middle like stint. 600 fuel floating for the Vermont player. Really? That's funny. That's usually what happens when a game goes over like one hour. It's one hour and five minutes now. Jesus Christ, it's a long game. It is drawing to a close now, and I, yeah, as you said, it's just getting a little bit quiet now. Um, <laughs> I, I like the barbed wire stuff. It's, yeah. It's serious, honestly. A square yeah. of barbed wire. <laughs> it's probably gotta work. I think this is going to be the last ditch effort now from the Vermont player. Here comes the final push. Uh, but he needs his shoots wire. Oh no, he didn't, he didn't finish the wire, Stim. No. Ah, finish the wire. Oh, what the hell? I think I just saw a Shrek bounce on wire. Yeah, I think it was the shoots though. I'm not sure, but... Maybe that's because the shoots has such nerf penetration now, it can't even penetrate wire. That would be a <laughs> hilarious bug if it's true. <laughs> so you can spam wire all over the map and you shoot wire like ah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. What? What is this? This is a devil's tool. Oh, he ruined his own wire. I Bye. think he, I think he did it so that his engineers could get out if they got trapped on the other side. Yeah, or he can cap it back at least, you know, easily. So look at the wire in the south VP as well. No, oh, he's actually got to wire it off once again. All the wire in the south as well. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They must just be like, what the fuck, those Sherman drivers. The big fucking tanks driving over all our work. <laughs> Takes hours. Honestly, guys, my hands are bleeding. Oh my god, are we going for another base rush? It's another base rush, I think. And maybe he's going for the annihilation win. You yeah, know, just sort of camp out your opponent's base, destroy all his units and HQ. Actually, I forget. No, you don't actually... Do you need to destroy all your opponent's units, or is it just all your opponent's buildings? Uh, yes. I think so. What, the latter? Yeah, I think it's just the buildings, uh, that includes machine gun nests. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that makes sense, because I'm pretty sure I've lost when I still had units left, but I just had no base left. Long ass range sticky on the Puma. Uh, we got the shoot, we got the fly piece you raining down on everything again. Oh my god. He's gonna kill a tank depot soon, and here comes the second Calliope, it's probably gonna kill something here now. I should have a pretty not. crappy spread on those two shots, I think it's too far away. He's too far away and he hasn't really got a clumped up target to fire at. But here comes yeah. the Sherman and Persian combo. But the KT has finally hit, and with two shoots Wagon, that's just no way. Oh my god, the damage those things do is insane. He's gonna get a sticky out probably. He popped uh, out of War Machine, but not quite in time to save his... Uh, oh. Save his unit. Shrek's sure. moving in oh. into, the, into the middle to try and take back uh, his middle VP. He's sending in the Puma to try and uh, squish the uh, squish the wire. I agree, yeah. Ooh, he almost lost that rifle squad. At the same time, we got this base scraping. He's gonna get the decap probably. Oh, that mortar needs to hit the guy decapping it. Oh, he really needs to hit. No, it hits, Fight but he doesn't them. hit fast enough or hard enough. Back to the base rape. Right to the base rape, and what's going on here? Tank Depot's down, MG Nest is down. Who am I going Triage is probably the next on the hit list. I'm not sure what I would do with that out there here. That's a very nice play from the Vermont player, I must say. Yeah, you know, if you can't take by the middle, then. No, oh, he's actually. He's got the cap now on the middle. Yep, with the He's going to lose. A... Oh, he loses a Volk Squad, though. I mean, that's really not good at this stage in the game. And he dropped a Shrek as well. Yeah, he dropped a Shrek from the Grand Squad. He's captain. actually lost two of his rifles. Two of his two rifles have died in the madness. 
double Calliope Barrage. Oh just my god. As much as I expected it to do. I'm sure it's the Vet 3 tanks giving better receive penetration. He's going straight for the HQ now. I can't remember what's going to happen when the HQ goes down. Uh, He's going to lose all his income. Uh, I guess he will, yeah. There it goes, but the center repeats white that once again. No, he's still no, no. There, there goes his income. There goes his entire income. Yep. He's still got he's still getting munitions income, but his his manpower has gone down to plus one hundred, and his uh, fuel is down to plus five. Oh, and this Pershing just can't hit that bloody Puma, honestly. It's it's that like fucking phase armor, you know. I've seen M10s like try and shoot at Pumas for like years, and they never seem to hit. There we go. And that was a there spectacular explosion. Oh, he needs to prop. Yeah, he should have propped them. Yeah, he should have propped them. He's not he got much of a hope in hell now. He's gonna he's gonna kill the uh, AT gun with the. Or even he, fire the Puma. he needs to kill the Spyard and then the Triage and then the MG Nest and he will win. But what's going to happen first is... Is he going to be able to... I mean, what's... I'm not sure if he's going to hold off these Volks. That's the problem. He's going to get the decap on the center VP. If he gets the decap, metal. then this is getting pretty close now. He just needs to get the decap, the Vermont player now. That's all he needs is a decap. Oh, the decap. Vermont player is totally out of shit though, isn't he? He's totally out of infantry. Yeah, he's got two Vox squads in the center VP, decapping, uh, decapping the middle VP, or he's starting to cap it now, actually. Oh no, Vomit player needs to focus fire those fucking MG nests. Oh, there we go. He has flavor pyres in the center went down on the mortar as well on the street. But he manages oh, to get the decap, we're at 10 VPs now. This is getting yeah. really tense now. He's got the cap on the center VP as well. This is getting really tense. He's trying to, he's trying to kill the, he's trying to kill the MG nest. He's gonna kill the MGNS in a second, I think. That's gonna be. Is that the last building he has? He needs to make a forward HQ or something. Like, ultra, ultra fast, Stop or yeah. alternatively, get the cap in the middle. We got the KT no. in the center. He no, the, the Geschützwagen. What, what are you doing, Geschützwagen? He just needs to. He just needs one more shot on the MGNS and he wins. Ooh, he's getting. Oh no, he's actually. He's made an MGNS. Stim made an MGNS in the middle. Oh, just okay. in a fairly arbitrary position. Oh, there he goes. One of the Clypees. And there's the GG. I guess it's over. Yeah, I guess Stim thinks it's over. He has no, he has no infantry left. Yeah, he has no infantry left. Yeah. Oh. Ah, destroyed <laughs> engine on the Cali. <laughs> <laughs> and he says I was 23k all game because I couldn't spend it. And now he gets the opportunity to call in some engineers. He's actually airdropping engineers into his base somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna go for a repair probably. And. Uh... I guess he can't use his off-map call-ins either with the HQ. Nope, nope, you can't use any off-maps until you get your HQ back. But is that... <laughs> oh, Man, that's why he couldn't damage. kill it. That's why he couldn't oh. kill it. It's it's immobilized. Immobilized, yeah. That's uh, why he couldn't turn around to finish off the MG nest. Ripping them to shreds, honestly. Why isn't the game over then? This is what I'm confused about. The bottom MG nest. I guess it must be, yeah. There's one in the base as well, it's not dead. It's got a sliver of health. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I gotta try uh, ticking um, ticking G-Wagons again. I've been rolling with Stugs, but if G-Wagons are as good as they look like in this game, I gotta I gotta try it again. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh, and there's the final quit from Stim. He realized he had no hope in hell. But what a game. What a game. Yeah, it had a lot of ups and downs and back and forth, and you know, the the Wehrmacht player was basically laughing the whole early game. And then all of a sudden he lost everything. Yeah, like to a combination of like grenades and nice pushes and, and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Calliope's, this is so weird that we, well, he would float so much manpower. But, yeah, um, no, I, I, I guess he was popcat most of the game because he did not have much Well, he said he was popcat, but he... He could have spammed snipers at one point. Like, he had the manpower yeah. to do it. And he had the pop cap as well, so... I, I still don't really understand that decision, but um, still, I mean, that's a real nail-biter ending. I've, I mean, the the last game I've seen with such a close ending was... Uh, yeah, quite, quite a while ago. Oh, yeah, indeed. I agree. 25 to 10. And shit everywhere, dying, and all that good stuff. Lots Best of explosions. Of yeah, pretty much. The middle is just like... <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, crater, 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 all the way up to like the only unscarred bit is the Vermont base. That still looks pretty clean. American yeah. base cannot <laughs> cannot say the same for the American base. I don't know. It just feels like Stim had it. Like he, it felt like he had it. I was sure he was gonna win. I was gonna call it for him, and then like something just collapsed for him. I think. I think it was when he started losing all his rifles. I think that was really the thing because you know when he he had less less 
pop to go and capture it, so... Yeah, I guess. You wanna explain something to me? How did that one guy, Volkswald, get to the Southern VP? Um... <laughs> ah, listen, there's a gap by the wall. There's a gap by the wall. Oh, okay. Didn't quite get finished. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a weird visual thing. You can't... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> it just looked pretty funny. It's like <laughs> it's like he metamorphosized himself yeah. through osmosis through the wire. He got some Nazi <laughs> magic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Nazi jetpacks. <laughs> never know. Oh uh, dear, dear. Oh well. Uh, thank you for joining me once again, Fatal. Yeah, no worries, Tommy. Because this game has kind of sapped me a little bit. Yeah. And I really need a drink now. <laughs> my my throat is parched. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Good night. Good night.